Hello and welcome to my very first wildlife YouTube channel. We're here in the beautiful state of New Hampshire on a beautiful fall day and we're going to look for the redback salamander. <laughs> The northern redback salamander has a wide range over the northeastern United States and southeastern Canada to North Carolina and East Tennessee, and they are a pretty common species. Redback salamanders live in wooded areas where they can be found underneath rocks, logs, and moist leaf litter. Let's check this one out right here. Ooh, look at that spider. Oh, there's one. Look at this spider, though. Wow, look at that. Yeah, right there. Here we go. Here is what we're looking for. Okay. There we go. Looky there. This is the northern redback salamander. And as their name implies, they have a red to orangish uh, oh, back from their head to their tail. Oh, you're okay. He's wanting to get away from me right now. But we just found him underneath this log. And there's actually a, um, a lead back phase. And they're more just uniformly dark. But they both have this kind of salt and pepper belly to them. The female redback salamander will lay around three to 14 eggs in June and July. Now these guys don't have an aquatic larval stage, but rather their eggs are deposited in rotten logs or stumps. And just recently, I was able to find baby salamanders and get a clip of them. Redback salamander babies can leave the nest around four weeks of age. Let's check this log out real quick for another one. Oh, here's one. There we go. This guy has a little more vibrant orange on him. All right, let's set this. Is there any more? I don't see any others. Alrighty. And this guy is a good example of what a red back salamander looks like. You can see that orangish to reddish color to him on his back from his head to his tail. And now some salamanders have lungs and some have gills, but these guys breathe through their skin. And so they need that moist and damp soil and ground to survive. And that's why these logs and rocks are a great way for them to find that because the sun hasn't doesn't get under here to dry up the soil underneath. And it's nice and wet and damp. Look at that, crawling up my arm there. They are nocturnal species coming out at night to forage for food. They eat small invertebrates like arachnids, worms, snails, larvae, and insects. All right, time to put this little guy back. All right, there you go. Awesome. All right, let's go find another one. Check it out, guys. The cameraman, my brother here, just found, oh, there was a second one. Here is a smaller one. A smaller northern redback salamander. There was a second one down here. Oh, look at that. Look at that little one right there. Wow. No bigger than my fingernail. That is tiny. That is a redback salamander as well extremely small where's the other one wow that is so cool so tiny look at that that's my pinky look at that wow that's tiny this one this one's pretty as well oh he's backing away he's backing away wow good find coming on, these little guys will be burmating under the ground in decaying root systems, burrows and crevices deep in the soil underneath the frost line. Now, burmation is a lot like hibernation, but for cold-blooded animals like reptiles and amphibians. During this state, their respiratory rate, their heart rate, and body temperature will all drop. They become very sluggish and inactive. But during the warmer months or warmer days of winter, sometimes they'll come out and relocate or find water before returning to the state of formation. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new about the northern redback salamander. And I hope you have an awesome day. 
All right, let's put this guy back. He's underneath this rock here. All righty. Hey, come on. He likes to jump. There we go. There we go. Is he pointing in the right direction? There we go. Bye-bye. Awesome.